We are back on GVTV. I'm Callie Anders, and my guest today is Danielle Harding. And just like we promised, we're going to learn, or she's going to show and I'm going to learn, how to brush and floss properly, right? Exactly. Okay, so where do we start? First, you're going to want to start with your brushing technique, and a lot of people can probably improve on that. So I'm going to have you hold this for me, Callie. Okay. And I'm going to show you exactly how you want to brush. Okay. Now, when you brush your teeth, you're going to mm -hmm. want to start in one area, and you want to brush in a circular motion. Okay. You really want to get those bristles up underneath the gums, and that circular motion that you're doing uh -huh. is really going to help to move food away from Okay. So you want to do this. Now you're doing hang this on, bring that back to English. Gingival area. Where your gums meet your teeth. Okay, Exactly. Got it. <laughs> yep, so you're going to want to start there. And by doing that circular motion, mm -hmm. that's going to get that area really nice and clean. Okay. Then you move to the next area. Mm -hmm. So when you're brushing, the total time, you want to spend a little bit of time on each area. You know, okay. you don't want to do this. It's going to take you anywhere in between two to three minutes for a good thorough so brushing. So what does the sawing do? What is this that? is really not going to do anything. In fact, it might even make things worse. If okay. you do this, it could push food in between these little areas in between your teeth. Okay. So you're going to want to do that. And there's already food and stuff in there as anyway, is. And yeah. that's what the flossing um, is going to take care of. So okay. when you do that, if you'd go ahead and open that up, I can show you how to do that. <laughs> I had to do that, I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> okay, now when you're flossing, a lot mm -hmm. of people tend to just do this. They'll put the floss in yep. between and then pull it out. Okay. You really don't want to do that because that can actually make your gums bleed mm -hmm. and that's not going to do the cleaning that you want floss to do for you. Okay. So what you want to do is get that floss in there and okay. bend it on either side and kind of wiggle it back and forth. Okay. Now, obviously... So pull it like back and... Yep. Like a, almost like, like a you're, okay. you're rubbing a towel across your back okay. after you've been swimming. So you want to do this, okay? And then when you're done, if this area feels like it's going to be too tight, mm -hmm. don't just pull it up and out. Okay. What you can do is actually pull the floss all the way out and through, okay. and that's going to prevent the up and down, you know, plopping in and out motion that I was trying to tell mm -hmm. you to avoid. Now, a, is a little bleeding common with it flossing? Is. It is actually, and when you floss, um, the more that you do it, mm -hmm. the less bleeding you should get. Mm -hmm. So things should get better as you go on. So when people say, I don't floss because I bleed, mm -hmm. you know, I understand that, but you really need to start Stick doing it. it. Yep, and, and as you do it, it'll start to subside. Okay. So, and another area that people really forget about is getting back here. Okay. This is your last tooth, but that doesn't mean that there's not an area where that tooth meets the gums. Mm -hmm. You really need to get back there. I know that's a far reach, but that's somewhere where like a tool that has a little pre threaded um, head on it, mm -hmm. one of the flossing tools can really help you out. It can get all the way back there and you can get that area nice and clean. Okay, so now what about people with really long fingernails like me who can't, I mean that's the best way is those little if you can't, if you can't get your your floss all the way back there comfortably mm -hmm. with your fingernails or whatever instance it is, then you can use those little picks mm -hmm. that have you know the floss the on them. Strip across. Yep, they're disposable, okay. so you can take those with you. Mm -hmm. um, keep a pack with you wherever you go, and it's very sanitary. You can just pull one out every time mm -hmm. you use it and discard it. Yeah, and that will get all the way back there. It's got a handle just like a toothbrush, yep. like this, except for the head is going to have a little like a little yoke on it mm -hmm. and a strip. And strip exactly, it's going to have a strip of floss right through there. Now, is there a better brand of floss? floss or type of floss that you know is best? It kind of depends on what um, you need the floss for. If your little kids flavored flosses will obviously help encourage, encourage them it, to sure. do it. Um, if you have really tight areas in between your teeth, a wax floss is going to be good for you. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, no. there's not really anything in particular. What a, what a brand? Are you saying wax? I mean, do they all um, make that or is there a particular? Almost every brand that's out there on the market is mm -hmm. going to have a wax version and they may have an, all, uh, an unwaxed version mm -hmm. or maybe even like um, a wound type that's going to have nothing on it. It's just going to be, you know, some soft material that you can get in there and clean okay. everything out with. Okay, should I give this a try? Yeah, go ahead and okay. I'll hold this for you. Okay. And you can show so, everyone again. So when you get up there. Start in the back, right? Yep, you want to get up there and get up there and get those brush okay, I'm do it this way. bristles angled up so towards like the gums. So like this? Yep, and like rub keep in, in circles. a circle still? Exactly. So we're not actually even circling the teeth, it's more the gums. You want to get up towards the gums because okay. the teeth will naturally kind of clean some, mm -hmm. cleanse themselves okay. as you eat. It's the gum part that's the most exactly. important. Exactly, and this area where they meet is okay. very, very important. Okay, so, so if like you that? do that, yep, and then you just keep moving around, and ideally, every place that you put your brush head mm -hmm. and start brushing mm -hmm. should take a couple of seconds, five to okay. ten seconds, and that's going to get you that full two to two. three minutes. Oh, sure. Okay. Exactly, and you don't want to forget the insides either. Okay, so now you can brush like this for you the You can guide to get there and there. Um, another thing that kind of helps mm -hmm. is people try to get the whole 
bristle head yeah. in here like this, just turn it this way. And Up you can and do down. smaller circles. Okay. Exactly. And that'll, and that'll help a little bit. Okay. Now, the two to three minute time, is that something for kids also? Or are they a little um, less? Or? Kids, it's kind of get what Hit you can. Miss. Yeah. What, get whatever you can take from okay. them. You know, uh, if they can only do one or two minutes, mm -hmm. at, least, at least you can get them into the habit of brushing and okay. taking care of their teeth. Um, and then as you go on, yes, you should work up to two and three minutes. And the mm -hmm. only reason they say that is because you should be spending a couple minutes in each area. Or not a couple minutes, but a couple seconds in, in each, each area. area. Okay. Yep. And, and not neglecting any certain area, not rushing through it. Now, do kids floss? Kids, um, you actually want to ask your dentist about that, okay. especially if you have um, small children. A lot of times they won't recommend that a child start flossing until they can write their name in cursive. Because they don't okay. have the yeah they don't have the dexterity the in the hands to do it. Sure, they can't do it right. A lot of times it'll actually make things worse. They'll get that okay. bleeding that mm -hmm. you know everyone's kind of uh, fearful Dreading. of when they're yeah. yep, when they're doing their flossing. Okay. So you'll ask your dentist about that. If they feel like they've been doing good enough hygiene on their own, mm -hmm. then they will say you know what, go ahead, mom and dad. You can show them how to start flossing their mm -hmm. teeth and have them help you. Okay, so what a, maybe, I mean, I guess I don't know what time you start writing cursive, maybe fourth grade, fifth grade? Um, yep, right so around that time, in between eight and ten is usually when most, ki okay. most kids are learning that and they've got, you know, the dexterity to go ahead and mm -hmm. get a piece of floss in there and do it gently enough that okay. they're getting things clean but thorough enough that they're not missing anything. Okay, all right, should I try this? Yep, you can now go how ahead. how do I need to do this here? I gotta wrap it around my fingers? Go ahead and wrap it around your fingers, See, whatever I use works those best. Picks, so I... And those things are very, very helpful. Okay. So just go ahead and get in there Down. and then you want to wrap it on either side, yep. Like such. And, and kind of go up this. and down. Oh. Yep. Oh, I see what you're saying. There up you and go. Down the tube. And it'll be easier. Frank here kind of has more gapping yeah, than I was we would say, expect. Yeah, there's a lot of loose up space in between exactly. here. Exactly. Okay, now instead of. You can pull it up and through as long as you're gentle. But if but this if area is really tight, like say you're mm -hmm. getting some tense. Right okay. And that's not going to do and anything to hurt it. And then also the back part, right? Right back here. Yes, you do want to get all the way back there. And, and the same obviously kinda... he opens up a little bit wider yeah, than most of if us only, can. If only we could do that. But that's where something like those, okay. you know, the picks will help. And they have the floss on there so you can just pop them back there and mm -hmm. toss them in the trash can when you're done. Sure. Okay. Is there anything else with that? No, nope, I think we've covered that. But okay. I would like to go ahead and show you some of the stocking yes, stuffers that you can I've get to throw. So we okay. have a variety of ideas mm -hmm. and one thing that seems kind of funny but um, if you were to give this to something, someone, always a small thing of toothpaste and a, you know maybe even a full size or a travel size toothbrush, mm -hmm. they can stick this in their purse, in their oh, car yeah. or something because you never know, hey maybe you're going to a date or mm -hmm. something like that and you just had <gasps> lunch and you weren't even thinking, you're like, oh I've got to go pick up this no, person. No, I've got onion breath, right. This yeah, that is a I quick love. and easy way to do this. I hate giving gifts that nobody will use. And yep, everybody, and, well, and you these, hope everybody. Yep, and these will fit right in there. So it's mm -hmm. small enough that you can still put other stuff in there. Okay. Um, something else, this is really good. They have the smaller size. These are probably oh, travel perfect. size ones. Yeah, but these make really good stocking stuffer okay. size gifts. It's a small little thing of like Listerine mm -hmm. or the mouthwash by Crest here. Now, hang on. What, now, how much are we talking for these things about? A toothbrush, if you buy um, just like a regular toothbrush, mm -hmm. you don't have to get anything fancy that has all the, you know, the decorative heads or whatever mm -hmm. they say that are doing all the scrubbing. If you Soft were to get one bristles, of these, right? exactly, okay. you're gonna spend maybe like buck fifty or maybe even up to three dollars, depending okay. how much you want to do. Um, for the toothpaste, these are usually under a dollar, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. for the travel size. I could say the same for probably one right. of these. So, Those can all be found too, like in the travel aisle, you know, where there's all the sample yep. kind of type things. Exactly. So you could even perfect. go to Dollar General and get mm -hmm. these, and they're, you know, fairly cheap. Sure. Same thing with the floss. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get smaller, uh, smaller sets from your dentist mm -hmm. if you'd like to, and a lot of times they give those out complimentary. Uh -huh. So you could stick those in there, or you can even fit a full size one in there, and, and that'll fit in there. And how much do those run about? Um, floss is usually around a dollar, two dollars, okay. because this is going to last you quite a few sure, times. Sure. Um, another thing, though, that's kind of fun, and a lot of people don't realize, is now they have um, gums and mints that are actually going right. to do a lot to um, keep your mouth clean, your breath mm -hmm. smelling fresh in between meals and whatever else and brushings. Okay. And um, I actually just received in the mail from the ADA um, a packet of Eclipse and then another type of Wrigley's gum and mm -hmm. they are now supported by the ADA as being, really? you know, yep, as being um, effective. Dental and conscious or whatever, yes, sure. Effective in cleansing your teeth in between meals. So that's something that you could st stick in there and hey, kids think, oh, it's a piece of gum, great, I love mm -hmm. gum, yeah. but that's also helping them out. They don't even think about it, sure. Exactly. Now, are there other brands, I know Eclipse, I think, does Trident do one? Um, I'm not sure about Trident, uh, and I, this is actually a new thing. You know, mm -hmm. they were talking for a while there that, you know, 
chewing in between meals could do a lot to go ahead and you know kind of keep the mouth clean um, but the ones that are actually I think they're going to be coming out with an ADA stamp um, okay. the stuff that you would see on like you know Listerine mm -hmm. or your your thing of toothpaste here yeah it's going to have a little symbol okay. on there that says approved so so why does chewing I mean what does that do is that because it creates saliva it creates and saliva and um, when I was talking earlier about how the teeth kind of naturally cleanse uh -huh. themselves mm -hmm. with certain foods um, good for you foods like celery stuff like that mm -hmm. it's going to get the the food that's in between the teeth and that's up under there that's going to kind of flush it out and loosen it up sure. exactly okay. especially when you get that saliva in there working oh. and same thing with gum you get that in there and that's going to get things going mm -hmm. and then the mints i would assume same kind of type of deal yep yep mm -hmm. that that's mainly for a brush breath fresh freshening mm -hmm. so but the gum definitely okay is going to help Awesome. Well, I know that I have learned a lot, so I thank you very much for being here. No problem. And thank I hope you. you have learned a lot and take all of our tips on brushing, flossing, flossing stuffing stockings, all of that good <laughs> stuff with you for the holiday season. Thank you for being with me, Danielle. Thank you. For GVTV, I'm Callie Andrews.